you kind of expect, right? You, you really, you really just come out and filling in. The guys in front of you are sure. are are not in the lineup for for whatever the reasons are, and but the, you know, Coach Flynn, to his credit, rather than just giving up a, an in, a, like a, a forfeit there. We're going to throw somebody out there. We're going to give him some experience, give him a chance to wrestle, and well, we like know said, what the heck's going to happen. Well, like I said, Tulsa native, you know he had feelings about this. You know he wanted it today, and that's where you feel bad for him you, you, because you know the juice was up there, but well, I, again, just a challenge too tall today. You know, and if, you, if you're in a wrestling room at a Division One college, especially a, a top, top 20 school, a, a top 30 school, Everybody, everybody wants to take their their opportunity to get right. on the mat. It doesn't matter who sure. it is or where it is. You give me a or who you're, or who you're wrestling right. or yeah. what other motivations you might right. have. Right. Dennis Robin and Dustin Plot going after it here. Plot leads the team with 14 bonus point wins this season. He's had bonus points in 14 of his 17 matches. He's 16 and one this year against Dennis Robin. He's had a bit of an up-and-down season. He lost by a major decision against Columbia last weekend, 17-6. and six. But he has two top 20 wins at the Southeast Open earlier this season. And we talked a little bit with Tim Flynn about Robin's recent troubles. And he summed it up by saying Robin's a leg attack guy who's just not getting to the leg early and really hasn't done it the first minute seven here. Well, he's got to get to it. He's got to finish it, right? If you don't finish it, then you don't spend time on top. So the way the match goes is you get a takedown, you spend some time on top. It's, it splits the score a little bit with that three-point uh, takedown now. So, but also when you get to spend some time on top, you get to wear him down a little bit while you're there. And when you're the guy on the bottom, all of a sudden now you're down three and you got this, what, we're, we're, we got 25 seconds of riding time already. It just changes the trajectory of the match. Plot got a major decision win against Pitt's Reese Heller. So not really a good weekend for the Heller brothers of Pitt. With Holden falling to Isaac and Reese falling to Dustin Plot, or Isaac Olenek and Dustin Plot, respectively. Well, those are the guys ranked second in the country. Those both places, so that with all the idea respect. that that you know that you're going to have a those are two you, returning all Americans, right? right you, that's obviously what you're geared toward and what you're want to do, but uh, that's a tall order. And right now, you see Plot doing a nice job of being on top, just isolating his right arm. He's put it on his back a couple of times. He certainly used the that wrist control uh, to uh, to to keep Robin from getting to his feet and and, and finding a base, but. The throwdown of Robin there as Plot took on Scott Joel last year, picked up a 14-11 win in Stillwater. Two reversals and a takedown in the first period, a couple takedowns in the third. So though there were a lot of points scored in that bout, a lot of it didn't come until much later. Well, and look, and I, and I think he's gotten better, right? I, that's one of the things that happens. These guys get better as, the, as time goes on. They, they do a better job of uh, getting more technically proficient and sound. Another throwdown. Robin trying to roll out of it. You got 13 seconds left in the period. Two minutes of riding time. Plot another guy who got his first career top five win last weekend at NC State. Two-time All-American, second last year in the Big 12 in this weight class. So we go to the second with Plot leading 3-0. Take a look back at 174. Brayton Thompson picks up the pin. Well, and he just got, he got way too high. And once he once he's able to take him off from um, falling off of him, he's sort of in a perfect position, sort of kind like of a quasi bow and arrow sort of position, able to lift the inside leg and, and keep him from being able to push off. And, just a matter of time, really. Won five of his last six matches. Was actually the NCAA wrestler of the week last month for a win over Oklahoma's Tate Piccolo. Got a major decision against the number 17 ranked wrestler in the country. So Thompson is a guy that's really surged. When you're a freshman in this lineup with all the experience they've got, you've got to step up. And he has done so. 
Clutch is doing a nice job in, in attacking and kind of changing angles. And, and once he gets in, he's doing a nice job of, of continuing to work the corner so that it's making really hard for Robin to counter. And you mean he's looking for a plot twist? Wow. Wow. You, you let me get oh, away yeah. with that wow. one? Wow, wow. <laughs> oh, geez. Ouch. Uh, Not as much as Dennis Robin might be saying that. He's the one that's getting twisted on the bottom. He certainly is. Right? You know, and he keeps getting that arm isolated out there, and you're not going to get off the bottom very well with your arm on your back. It's just... No. It's a great place to ride from you with that bar. But you really need both of those arms. Right. Plot's just going to let him up. Kind of like what we saw with Dayton Fix earlier realizes there's not a whole lot more you're going to do in that position, so cut him loose and go get more offense. Well, and, and he's just been great on that single leg, and, and Robin has not had an answer for that at all. He hasn't been able to defend it. Plot's staying in a good spot. Stays back behind him, drives through him. So Robin's not able to turn into him very well. So, I mean, just great offense, really. You know, sometimes you're watching things as a good offense or bad defense. And so far, I would say it's been pretty good offense. Now that you might be suspect from a defensive standpoint of being able to get in there, but I think Plot has just done a nice job of being in good position and, and the attacks. And, and obviously the time he spent on top, I think, has really helped too in wearing Robin down. If you go to the third, a lot of riding time for Dustin Plot. Yeah, he's got three and a half hours of riding time. Yeah. Like Kyle, I mean, it feels like three and a half hours. Yeah. Your name's Dennis Robin. Yeah, so... Uh, so it's essentially a 10-2 lead. Yeah, right. So we talked about this earlier. Now, if you're Dennis Robin, unless you can get a pin, the goal really is to try to avoid that major decision. Well, yeah, I, I mean, but the idea is to compete, right? Find a way to compete, but he hasn't been able to. I mean, Plot is just dominating this match. As he gets another takedown. I mean, just a, a dominant performance. 13, 14, 2, basically. Minute and 30 left in the match. One of the three leaders that have been really solid for John Smith's team. Again, Dayton Fix and Isaac Olenek, the others. Those were the returners that he knew he was going to have in place. A few transfers, a couple freshmen. So based on the standards of this program, the expectations weren't as high as they might normally have been for Oklahoma State, but the newcomers have really done their part, and the returning guys have stepped up and led the way. Well, I'd say he was pleasantly surprised is, uh, is a bit of an understatement. I, he wasn't exactly sure what he was getting in terms of how they would perform. I mean, right. especially with freshmen, you, you're not 100% sure of that. You think some of them are gonna have, so there's, a, there's gonna be a technical fall. And, and that was a, a definite technical fall. I mean, Plot just dominated that match from beginning to end in every way possible. And a senior out of Tuttle, Oklahoma, picks up the win over Dennis Robin, number 17 this year, and his 15th bonus point win. More to come from the WVU Coliseum on Big 12 Now on ESPN+. Plus. 